Dear Ukrainians, I wish you health. Today, the day started very early with a meeting of the staff of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief. The situation at the front line was analyzed in detail. South, East. Special attention was given to Donbass. The greatest confrontation is now in Donetsk region. It's very important, a lot is being decided there. Any losses there are further losses in the country as whole. That's why we stand. We stand firm. We don't surrender anything. I thank each of our heroes who are holding back these terrible attacks of the invaders. Constant attacks. South, we are moving gradually. Strengthening our position step by step. There is a lot of joy in the media space today. And it is clear why. But our emotions must be restrained, as they should be always during war. I will definitely not feed the enemy with all the details of our operations, either in the south, or in the east, or anywhere else. When we have our result, everyone will see it. For sure. Maybe it doesn't sound like what anyone expects now. Perhaps not as it sounds in the news. But you need to understand. No one just gets away if they don't feel the strength. The enemy does not bring us gifts, does not make gestures of goodwill. We fight our way up. And when you are fighting, you must understand that at every step there is always resistance from the enemy. It is always the loss of the lives of our heroes. Therefore, we move very carefully, without emotions, without unnecessary risk. In the interests of the liberation of our entire land and so that the losses are as small as possible. This is how we will secure the liberation of Kherson, Kakovka, Donetsk, and other our cities. But this will be the result of our efforts, our defense operations, those that are currently ongoing, those that we are planning. And now I want to warn separately and once again everyone in Moscow who makes the relevant decisions. Any attempt by you to blow up the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant, flood our territory and cut off the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant from the water supply, will mean that you are declaring war on the whole world. Think what will happen to you then. At the meeting of the staff we also discussed the supply and production of weapons. Our weapons. The repair of equipment, the strengthening of our anti-aircraft and anti-missile defense, which is ongoing. The recovery of critical infrastructure, primarily the Energy One, after the Russian terrorist attacks. As of this evening, there are electricity blackouts to stabilize the situation in 15 regions and the city of Kiev. There are no emergency blackouts. Wherever electricity is out, it should be in accordance with published schedules. Please, if the blackout at your house or street is not on schedule today, notify the local authorities and representatives of the energy company that serves you. They must change the situation and stick to the schedule. I spoke today with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands, Mark Rutte, just about the recovery of our energy sector and the protection of the Ukrainian sky. Thank you for your willingness to help. Separately, we discussed the Export Grain Initiative, the fundamental need to extend and expand our grain exports. We agreed to cooperate even more closely to support Ukrainian initiatives at the UN. Tomorrow there will be a very active day of negotiations, many contacts are planned. It is these days that we are completing our preparations for Ukraine's possible participation in the G20 summit next week. The Ukrainian stance has been shaped. As always, our stance will be in the interests of global security. In the evening, I signed another decree on awarding our soldiers. There are 106 servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine who were given state awards. And one more thing is very important. Today is the day of Ukrainian writing and language and the Ukrainian day of cultural workers and masters of folk art. There was also a dictation of national unity. I thank everyone who joined the writing of the dictation, it is an important annual tradition. And, you know, today I want to congratulate not only those who teach languages and literature and work in the field of culture and preserve folk art. I want to congratulate all our people. Ukraine holds. Ukraine defends itself. And will definitely defend. It is no longer a question of whether Ukraine and everything Ukrainian exist. Ukraine does exist. And Ukraine will exist. And our enemy will die. They will die. Like the dew does in the sunshine.
or like the Russian river crossings under the strikes of the HIMARS systems. Glory to Ukraine!